I'm Terry Oracle, and this is a reading for ER. ER is applied for a TV show where they help people find their birth parents. And they want to know, will they take on her case? Will they find the birth parents? And are the birth parents still alive? Since about two years ago, she stopped seeing and hearing spirits. They would come to me and ask questions. But it's been quiet for far too long. Will the gifts be switched on again? So we chose for the card for this. By the way, we are using a Lenormand today, and we're using my background cloth that we have. Not really a cloth, it's a mouse pad. Looks like that, but it's close to a cloth, and I like cards can just slide around and such. Anyway, so the center card for this nine card spread, I had Google pick a random number, and Google came up with this number. I think I activated Google, I'm saying Google. Okay, so we have the lilies, which indicates to me that is my center card. I think that's a very good center card for this particular reading. It is on top of the book. Now, the lilies on top of the book sort of indicates to me the lilies that um, the information will be revealed. And the book is open, which I find interesting. So we have the book open with glasses. So it could be secrets, knowledge, hidden information. I think the information will be revealed because the book is open. We have two open books. To me, again, it indicates the information will be revealed and you will get that information especially since the book is located next to the social card the garden and the gardens on top of the letter it seems that in a social event you will get a letter about a social event or something like that so those indicate to me that the reveal will be in a social platform <clears throat> which since you apply for a tv show could mean that Sorry, I need a drink. The water is the water. The, the reveals on the TV show indicates to me. So this is the past over here. This is the future. What weighs on you, what you have control over. All right, so let's talk about these two cards here. I find that utterly fascinating that I got a man and a woman card on this reading. So, but the man and the woman card are especially interesting to me. Well, let me straighten this out. So, man and the woman card is especially interesting to me in this particular instance because the woman is holding the scythe and the man is sort of there and he's looking over here, but the woman is looking at us and the woman is over the stars and the man's over the ring. So, let's talk about your father. It seems that your father got remarried. Master of the obvious here with the man over the ring to the left of the lilies in the past column, um, got remarried. And it looks to me like he is remarried because, now, this is not a woman card, it's the scythe, but it's got like this creepy feel to it, and um, the scythe, you know, cutting the sweet over her head or whatever, it seems that we have a cutting motion or a cut, a cut short, maybe a surgery, etc., on possibly your mother. And I think that your mother um, went, underwent some surgery Something went wrong, and I'm not sure if she's alive. I, I want to throw that out to the, the audience here. If you think the mom is still alive or not, because I'm torn between the two answers, because it's interesting that she's over the stars. Now, I know she's not like on top of the cross or something like that. That would be master the obvious that she's not around, but the fact that she's over the stars is fascinating to me, and if you forced an answer out of me, and said, I absolutely need to know if mom is still alive or not. I, man, I think she had some surgery. Something went wrong. She had some surgery. She got sick. So, I don't know. I'm not really going to answer it. I think this is the first time I'm not really going to answer it because I have no clue. That is just fascinating when she's over the stars. It indicates to me, maybe not. I'd go, probably not. I'm just based on this. I'd go, probably not. And that, and the 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 final reason I would say probably not is because this is in the the row of what weighs on you, and the father is not in the row of what weighs on you, but she is. So she's in the row of what weighs on you in the past with a cutting motion. I think it indicates surgery, and she's on top of the stars. Again, if she's still alive, she's not. She may not be may not be doing too well. So again, 
all the indications here are that something happened, basically. So again, this is what weighs on you. Now, I think that her family or your future relatives are, we have a mixed bag as far as future relatives go in finding out this. The stork, obviously being the delivery, the delivery of the news, being underneath the dog, which is the friend and things like that, mean that you have some potential friends within your birth family. And I think you have a lot of relatives that you could get to know and be friends with and be social with and, and make just a ton of, of new friends and new opportunities and things like that. I see a lot of opportunities here. Um, again, upgrades, arrivals, changes, um, and the changes are going to be the friends. And so you're going to make friends with the new family. But I think that we have loyalty and friendship kind of colluding with the mice here. And I think that some of the family is not going to like the news, which makes me think that if you do get on the TV show and it comes out publicly and it's this big, big production and things like that, I think you'll have uh, a one or two members of the family that aren't too pleased with it. And it's going to be something to where they just don't like you. So you're going to have one or two members of the family that just don't like you. So that's what I see from here. The mice over sort of the dog. So we have a friendly mice type thing, sort of a, a, I don't know. Anyway, but I don't know. I just think that some people aren't going to be too happy that it was made public. And it seems like something that, that could have been handled better privately and you would not have this problem. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they just don't like you anyway. It's the kind of thing to where you, maybe the mom or the dad or both did not tell anybody about the adoption and things like that. So you have this weird situation to where some people aren't happy. That basically tells me this, what's weighing on you. What's weighing on you is the delivery of the news. You're gonna make some friends, but of that, you're not gonna, some aren't gonna be too pleased. Now, I think the father lives really close to you. I think the father lives like shockingly close to you. So, he got remarried, and he may be in an area that's, that's dramatically close to you. That's what I see here, especially because he's he's right here, and he's looking over. He's he is um, he he moved, or he's in an area again that's shockingly close to you. So that's what I see here. And again, he got remarried, or whatever. And again, I don't know how he'll take the news. I don't see anything about him taking the news bad. I mean, the expression is not bad. The remarriage has two rings, which means I think the marriage is still together. So we have the two rings, sort of a solid marriage in here. And he's playing the, I guess that's a, I don't know what that is. Is this a violin? If that's a violin, where's the stick? I don't know. Is that a violin? That looks like a violin. He's just playing the violin like a guitar. I don't know. Maybe that's an old guitar. I don't know. Anyway, so let's look at the future again. The future contains the, the jealousy and sort of the 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 mixture of friends and not friends with some of the families and again we have the social card the garden of the letter so i think we get i think you will receive an answer about it um whether it's positive or not i don't really see that i just see the letter with the garden so i do think you'll get a written answer to that now down here we have things that you can control over um i think that the spirits will come back is what I see here. I think the spirits are sort of on break. I think something big is about to happen. I just feel it. I just feel something big is about to happen. Something, something's moving. Something's transitioning. Something's happening. And the moon over the cross indicates to me that, that there, there is an, an amount of worry and it's sort of clouding what you're doing at the moment. But I do think something big is about to happen, especially with the key over the anchor. I think something, you're about to get some news as per this and as per this, but the key over the anchor really sort of indicates to me that that there's um, some stability coming in, in your feelings as well as some stability coming with the news. So overall, um, we can also do what frames sort of the situation as well. So let's do that. Um, we have the mice and the scythe. And then we have the book and the moon. So what frames the situation is more of a, uh, it's more of a, 
the process is going to be rather quick when it starts and it's going to affect you pretty dramatically emotionally so expect some dramatic emotions some big emotions with the unreveal coming about um, especially with the, this being female and this being female and it's sort of being a cross uh, do have some emotions coming so that's my that's my reading and again I'd appreciate anybody else's analysis over this what do you think I think it's interesting that you have this but this card is a scythe so if anybody else has an opinion on this I'd love to hear it especially on the positioning of these two I think this one is fairly obvious this one not so much anyway thank you for watching if you have a question please leave a comment uh, not a comment, please email me at the email address inside the video's comments. should be right down there. And hit like and subscribe, please. Thanks so much.